All right, so we've all heard that old adage that the best deals are where both people walk away slightly dissatisfied. Just want to call it nonsense on that. Sean Riney here, sell investment properties in New York City for Marcus and Moachap. Look, in a low velocity market, this is even more important. It's how to create win-win solutions. In every trade, there doesn't need to be a winner and a loser. Both sides can win and both sides are going to accomplish a lot of their goals. And your job as a broker is to identify and learn how to create those win-win solutions. Uh, there is a ridiculous tax advantage to owning and operating investment real estate called the 1031 exchange. Many of you are probably aware of it, but essentially allows you to compound your equity gains uh, you know, over time without paying any tax. Swap till you drop is the, the lingo in, in the industry of, of how to do this. And once you know, we get to that stage, you know, end of, uh, end of term, uh, you know, we start to involve these state planners and there's a lot of other ways to minimize tax liability from there. But look, every transaction tells a story. Your job is to get yourself into that story. Um, you know, case in point, you know, this is, you know, just a 67 unit elevator building that we just sold in Midwood. Uh, it sold for 4% cap rate. For many in the market, that might be a little bit too low for their return expectations. But why did this guy buy? He was in a 1031 exchange himself, having sold a piece of land, you know, commercial stores that had a bunch of air rights, wasn't, you know, didn't have a high return on equity. And for him, you know, a 4% return is an exact, you know, is a 4% improvement over the 0% cash flow he was making before. Likewise, this seller, and we're in the process of identifying properties right now, but they're gonna be swapping into a whole host of single tenant, at least completely management-free corporate guaranteed tenants. And, probably at least two times in their, you know, their net income that they receive with alleviating all the management burden. So look, if you're a broker out there and you're going to meetings and you know, a lot of times my guys come in and they're like, I think that was a great meeting. I'm like, okay, what happens next? And we can't get a hold of the person anymore. Uh, it's because that was a good meeting, but there is no sense of certainty that was passed off to the owner. Uh, people will not take action without certainty. They will stay in paralysis analysis for a long time until they fully commit to something. So when you're talking about you know, a, a solution, you know, don't frame, do you wanna sell? Frame, would you like to improve your location and make more net income? Are you open to exploring those options? Different kind of call, different type of question, different type of potential opportunity. Um, in this sense, you know, good brokers can create a market. If you're in a low velocity market, that's just because there's not enough good brokers working it. If you could put 10 good brokers in any market, there will be more velocity. Uh, so look, I wanted to just touch base on, on this part of things because it's very important now more than ever. Uh, there's three parts to kind of keep in mind to this. You know, one, you know, to facilitate these 1031 exchanges, you got to know the mechanics. see this but mechanics and what I mean by mechanics is there's a certain timeline you could identify properties within 45 days most sellers will tell you that's too much pressure blah, blah 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 there's ways to structure where the proverbial gun to your head is never in place where you're kind of in the gray area and you're under contract on both your selling property and your buying property at the same time very crucial to surround yourself with the right team to do that good broker good attorney good accountant everything will go smooth so first part is know, you know, know the mechanics. You got to know the needs, needs or desires. And what I mean by that is in, in the example I just said, you know, what, what are the needs? What are the goals? Is more cash flow the goal? Is less management burden the goal? Is maintain the same cash flow but improve my unit count? Is it trade up from southern brooklyn to prime manhattan is it sell prime manhattan and buy three times as many units in southern brooklyn start to identify the needs and owners start giving us the information don't let us pry it out of you so understand the needs and the desires and number three which is crucial is have the network you know one of the reasons why i work at marcus and Milchev is exactly for this reason you know you need the inventory you need quality deliverable inventory you need to be able to surround yourself with other highly capable professionals that you can hand off. Not everybody can do everything. Uh, and you know, if you're not in a network where you have these opportunities, you're literally missing out on half of the potential selling pool. Um, look, so these are the three things you must have to kind of keep in order. I can dive into them at any time. Call me at 718-475-4369. Uh, how do you go about this, right? When you're in the meeting with somebody, I'll leave you with one quick cliff note. And this is not of my original 
work. It is from a book I read probably three or four years ago by Keith Cunningham, which if you ever read Rich Dad Poor Dad, he's the rich dad in the, uh, in the book. Uh, but he has three steps, which I've always kind of stuck with me because they're easy acronyms. When you're in these meetings, how do you, how do you go about the process, right? Very simple. F-O-W-T-W, -W, find out what they want. This is where you're gonna ask a lot of questions, open-ended questions, obviously ask for the permission to ask those questions, but you need to find out what they want. What are those needs and desires? You know, what is the investment, you know, up at time horizon, what's the current return on equity, what is the opportunities and available options, start to get people excited. They're not gonna get excited about selling unless they have an excitement about what they can possibly buy. Move them ahead, move them into the future, get them into that future state. Find out what they want, G-O-G-I, go and get it. This is your opportunity to not only deliver on the selling price, but start to find them the opportunities that make sense for them to buy. Explore those options. And number three, very simple, G-I-T-T, -T, just give it to them. All right, so follow these steps. You know, my partner, Peter Vonner, has written a lot about this, and we've uh, had a few podcasts about the same subject. You can find it at uh, www.newyorkmultifamily.com, behind the bricks. Uh, call me anytime, 718-475-4369.